Morning world, it's Tracy Elise and I'm here in Phoenix about to go to court today, not just to defend the Phoenix Goddess Temple and the sacred sexuality movement with the help of the Native American Church. Now, come to find out, I'm actually defending the Constitution itself. And I wouldn't have believed that when this first began. I really trusted the system. But what I know now is that when 95% of the people accused of a crime in the United States end up taking some kind of a plea bargain, you know that the system is broken. That's about 40 to 45% more than any other developed nation on this planet. Uh, the American Bar Journal Association actually says that at least 20 out of 100 people, or 20%, I'm not sure, yeah, same thing, uh, are actually innocent, completely innocent of the charges. They take the plea because they feel they have no choice. It usually has to do with not having any money or not having the time to go through the process. Um, so I'm going to start my little adventure today of sharing, and here it went. Never doubt that a group of thoughtful and committed citizens can change the world. Indeed, it's the only thing that ever has. I just want to give a shout out to my family, my children especially. Uh, I've got some volunteers helping in paralegal work. Um, just thanks for your assistance. It's going to be an interesting and strange journey. At some point, the world is going to begin to watch what's happening here. And I just wanted to say that, yeah, I'm just gonna show all the legal stuff. Oh my gosh, there's the boxes. I've got eight of those boxes. There's another bag of documents spilling open. Uh, you know, just, uh, whew, it's a lot for this little group, but we're doing well. There's Ben. Hey. I just wanna say, let me make today about my son, Ben. Uh, in 2003, about March or April of 2003, um, the temple there, uh, the um, I think it was called the Mystic Healing Arts Center, was uh, very nicely, nicely I would say, closed and invited to move somewhere else. And at that time, I began to realize that what I was doing wouldn't necessarily be understood and that I might be attacked. It hadn't occurred to me until that moment that I might be attacked for what I was doing. And my son's son, Benjamin, says to me, I hope you're willing to give this at least a decade. It's gonna take 10 years, Mom, to build a real church. And it was 10 years later that we had built that church with the help of my son. He's the only uh, male human that has traveled through the, the temple. Uh, I, I turned from a for-profit alternative healing arts center in 2002 into a church in 2003. And actually I had been um, ordained and chartered as the School of One, which was a spiritual mystery school uh, actually in July of 2002. So I've been on my spiritual path a very long time with this work. It's deep in me. I love the people that do this work. I love the people that seek out this work because you're breaking the, the boundaries of what society has programmed you and you're reaching for something more. And that is a good use of your time on the planet. I love you and I'll see you later. Thanks for listening. Bye.